Hello, hello, hello. Assalamu alaikum. Ji ayano, pakhair ragale, ni hao, chune shume, wash male, oh hai, ganzai, miss guten morgen, and a very good khush amadeed to everybody who's tuned into PT World and a watch world this morning. Special transmission on Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to everybody as well. This is Maha Magdoom, the very pretty, and this is Shazad Khan. They're very gorgeous. <laughs> Hello, Ma, how are you? I, I'm better for when you do your introduction. <laughs> Actually, you know, like, you cheer me up sometimes because, you know, I, fe I feel like I understand mothers today. So happy Mother's Day for everyone out there. But I felt like a mother today because I'm talking and no one's listening to me. I'm talking to myself. I'm repeating myself. And, yeah, it's, it's a great experience. And, and, and I understand how, why now mothers <laughs> get angry and throw those, like, chuckles. Exactly. <laughs> That's how it is. So, you know, let's get started with our conversation yes. as well since it's a special transaction. Transmission. Yes. This is Sunday. Today we are working as well, and definitely we are working for all the mothers out there. So we do love you. But how would you highlight the importance of such an amazing day? Well, I think uh, you know I'm not saying that I'm more <laughs> special today, but I mean my mother is sitting in another country. You know I've been away from them for a long time. So you know you really value and appreciate these things. I'm going to get emotional now, but you know like they're amazing people, and um, yeah, I don't want to talk. About Oh, it's perfectly all right. Just uh, take a chill, pal. So I think we need to call your mother and we need to tell her that, you know, happy Mother's yeah. Day as well. <laughs> just, just relax. No touching on the camera, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> so so it's fine. perfect. But whenever we talk about mothers, ladies and gentlemen, obviously know, yeah. it's a symbol of peace and tranquility. Uh, and whenever we say mother, ma, Amma, whatever word you choose, you know, when you say it, you feel relaxed. Yeah, sorry. Right, don't, I, my my makeup's been ruined. Is it my speech? No, no, it's me. I'm I just being emotional. All right, so you know, for all those mothers Gosh, who are out there, thank you very much for being there, being around us. Even though when our fathers were away, most of the time, that's where mothers complain as well. We always know yeah. that you have worked 24-7, 365 days. And we might not be very grateful for that at times, but we are today because we have grown up mature. Mm. And uh, we Well, that's yeah. debatable. Yeah, mothers, I, I, I think, I think I'm going to go into the zone where Maha is right now. So, Amma... <laughs> And you know, for all those mothers who are out there, you're very special to us. <laughs> Today, we are going to celebrate yeah. your existence. And, you know, to, to highlight the importance of mothers, I think when you ask somebody who's actually not got a mother, I think they can pretty much explain that too. And that pain which you have to go through when you do not have anybody to look after. Mm. You know, so uh, when even a thought of that mm. actually haunts you that, you know, God forbid, if your parents are not going to be around or your mother is mm. not going to be around, who's going to look after us? Exactly. So please make sure when they are here, we celebrate them and we enjoy their existence. And exactly. It's not just about today, every day. It's, my father always said, every day is Mother's Day. Uh, but my mother said, a mother needs a day off. So Mother Days is the day that they have rest. So look after them, give them breakfast in bed. And we're going to be discussing just a lighthearted show, how people value them, what can we do for them, uh, for funny stories and actually how well do we actually know our mothers exactly and then other than that we've got uh, very young talented kids over here in the studios who've actually made a song for their mothers and you know for all the mothers who are out there and the title is Soja Mirima now Soja Mirima obviously comes to my head as a matter of fact that you know you've been working very hard all your life now we are all grown up and now it's our time to do all the work all the chores of the house which you have been doing for years and years and Honestly, we'll ask, do they actually do those chores now or are the mothers still making them food for when they're home from after work? Are their rooms still clean when they turn up? I think for a lot of Pakistani kids, that's a yes. So we'll ask all these things. So coming ahead, Soja Miriba. अच्छा मैं आ रहा हूँ ना दोस्तों के साथ बस थोड़ी देर तक
साल था रो रो किया बुरा हाल मैं सारी सारी रात था रोता मेरी माँ सुबह सुबह काम करे मैं लंबी तान था सोता जब उम्र हुई पांच साल अजीब थे मेरे सारे वो सवाल मैं सोता तो तू सोती चोट लगे मुझे तू क्यों रोती अब जो गुजर गई बट मेरी दस मेरे जैसी होती तो तू कर जाती बस पर न जाने कौन सा तुझ में कमाल है बीमार होता मैं तू क्यों बेहाल है बार बार कॉल और एक ही सवाल घर कब आओगे घर कब आओगे अरे आ जाऊंगा ना यार फ्रेंड्स के साथ हूं तेरी शफकत का अब असर ना हम पे हो तेरी अजमत का अब फिकर ना हमसे हो Welcome back, everyone, and that was our uh, dedication for all the mothers out there. Soja meri ma, and the trans literal translation is uh, "go to sleep, mother." Uh, it just means to have a rest, and not the mob meaning. <laughs> so you know, so let's let's continue. Exactly, and you know, all of those young kids who've actually made it possible to be here. We thank you very much, first of all, because we need to do their introductions before we can show you. Mm -hmm. All right, so they are oh. here. So uh, <laughs> we'll share them. You know, the entire team of the song, the production team, and the mother. Uh, is actually here who wasn't really the real mother <laughs> but other than that she get to uh, play the role of her mother in the video as well and as you can see in the video mm -hmm. that you know it's all, it's all about love it's all about emotions it's it's all about your connection with your parents so let's just get started on my right hand side we have got Sidra Siddiq uh, who's a member of the sentiment productions as well and got to play the role of the mother in the video hello Salam Sidra how are you good morning wa alaikum assalam and uh, good morning to you too as well and alongside Sidra Siddiq we have got a very uh, nano minion <laughs> right next to her who sang the song actually and her name is Nehal Naseem she's just 11 years old studies in army public school and is in 7th grade hello Nehal how are you Hi, I am fine. Good morning to everyone. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming over and that's a good piece of work you've done over there. Yes. Thank you very much for that. Okay. And alongside Neha, we have got Zain Yaqub Malik, who's a member of the Sentiment Productions once again. Hello Zain, how are you? Hello, Good morning, Pakistan. Wa alaikum as -salam. Good morning. And alongside Zain, we have got Meher Adnan Guzar, who's once again the part of the team as well. Hello, how are you? Uh, I'm fine. Good morning. as alaikum. Wa alaikum Thank happy you very much. So let's get started with you. Yes. Yep. Are you yeah. the first one to say happy Mother's Day, everyone? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> happy well done. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So, All the others forgot. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, you know, today is the day. Okay, let me be very honest. Mm -hmm. So, usually what happens is that you, you obviously have to wait for Bari Eid or Choti Eid mm. to get one hug from your parents because mm. the rest of the year you're very shy. You cannot tell your parents that, you know, we do love you and we want to oh. hug you every day. So, imagine that you've got the opportunity today. So, whatever you have always wanted to say to your mother, go ahead, say it. We'll start with you, Mahesh. I said it in the song, Soja Meri Ma. Yeah. Just because uh, she always, when you go to house, you wait for the night. Yeah. That my son doesn't know where he's gone. He's going to sleep at night. He's not going to sleep at night. He's not going to sleep at night. कब सो, कुछ ने कुछ ने कुछ खाया भी होगा या नहीं घर से जब भी निकलते हैं तो एक तो हमारे हालात ऐसे हो जाते हैं पाकिस्तान में कि वो मदर घर में वेट कर, करती रहती हैं पता नहीं yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I just have to translate that for all our non-Urdu speaking people. It's the fact that mothers are always waiting at home. So my son has gone to work. She's always worrying that has he eaten? Is he resting? Has he got enough sleep? And with you know the situation of every like country these days, you know people get anxious when their children leave the house, and you know because it's dangerous out there. Yeah, that's how it is. But I think when when especially when boys grow up. 
Mm. It's not the mothers, then it's the fathers who are waiting. I think that's the case in my scenario as it's well. Good. But other than that, when... <laughs> you need to keep monitor these boys. But, but before that, when I was a college student, uh, I actually had to seek uh, permission, seek for permission uh, whether I can go out or not. Excellent. And without any reason, mothers do have a habit of saying no. <laughs> no. <laughs> really? Why? <laughs> I'm not telling you why. Oh, okay, wow. Suzanne, what about you? What do you want to say? Uh, I would deliver a message to my mother that uh, I'm feeling that she's always waiting for me yeah. and I'm not a very good son. Oh, Honestly, God. I'm not a very good son. I'm like always, I hear so I'll be here. So I just got that feel that somewhere I'm doing it wrong. Okay. okay. So that's why we portray a project. Mm. We deliver it uh, in our best way. Yeah. I'm too shy to present it to my mother. Okay. Or told my mother that, Amma, I'll be here. Okay. Yeah. I'm too shy for this. Okay. So, but I'm not shy in front of camera, so we did it in front of camera. Okay. <laughs> and, so, we're yeah. going to talk about this, actually. We'll talk about We're going to get down to the social construct of all of this. About yeah, this exactly. Kind of, about, but tell us, uh, Nihal, what, do you, what would you say to your mother? Why do you love your mother? Because she's a very good person. I really like her. She's slowly, really slowly, slowly. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's not a check. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Relax. Yeah. Actually, you know what? That, um, there are some uh, people who don't pay to uh, pay attention to their parents or their mother, especially their mother, wow. because their uh, mother is our favorite personality. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know what? That if um, anybody like, she is always waiting for you. Yeah. She's always waiting for you. That uh, like, one time I was with you, that like, ham, this song was shooting. Yeah. Tab. It's okay. It's continuing. I was shooting. Karate. And tab, my mom was watching me shooting. Karate. When she was like. Nehal, you have juice, Nehal, you have to eat something. Okay. Because she was like this, like, bye, 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 bye. And I said, Mama, I'm fine. I'm fine. So, like, so I mean, I was like, so what Nehal is trying to say is that, you know, her mother's always there. She's a very good person. And that when they were shooting the video, uh, she was constantly asking, do you want juice? <coughs> Are you okay? So that kind of love comes from a mother. Exactly. Yeah. And now moving on to, so, so now let's move on to Sidra over here. So Sidra, I got to know that you were a mother of two yourself as you well. You didn't know this before. Please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, so, so what I want to ask is that, you know, I have this realization that when I got married and when I had a daughter, I could feel, I could feel their emotions of how parents actually feel when, when you yourself are in the shoes. So how is it for you? What do you have to say about your mother? I think after being a mother myself, I've started respecting her loads, loads and loads more than we used to take her casually, like they are all saying. We have been very casual with them. All through my childhood, I have been the naughtiest child yeah, yeah. amongst my sisters only. <laughs> and then I've been scolded throughout my childhood and I used yeah. to like feel, what the hell, why am I the only one? Okay. But now I get to realize why was it important for me, why it was required at that moment. It was just to shape me into a nice human being socially, morally. Mm. I really, really appreciate all the efforts that she has put in okay. till now. Yeah. And now being a mother myself, mm. I really, really do the same what she does to us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And your focus is on the same as the boys and the girls or do you put extra no, no, no. to it's, one or the it's other? It's the same, but you know, uh, for boys, the handling is much different mm. and difficult. Yep. For girls, it's much mellow and polite. Yeah. But yeah. I was treated like a boy in my yeah. family. Okay, okay, so for all those people, uh, let me break it up because we're going to call our mother as well. Sidra is my sister and since yeah, she's been a part of the yay. team. So I never knew that she was coming. So till the time that you know she was here at the door. So Sidra, what we're going to do is that we're going to ask you how well you know your mother. And then I'm going right. to ask Shazad how well does he know Let's his see. mother. And we're going to see who wins. The it's difference be between yeah. a All son right. and a daughter. So, so we've got a yeah. set of questions. We're going to write questions down your on. answers and then we're going to call me and then we're going to ask her. Whether I should okay, you, you do it. Let's I'm see. going to be the judge and, and just, and just <laughs> keep, uh, write down the answers of as course, well. Of course, of course. Okay, what is your mother's favorite color? White. Okay. What is your mother's favorite dish? Halwa. Anything that's meter. What no, no, halwa. Let's no, be no, precise. No, no, halwa. You're very precise. I told you. Uh, what is your mother's favorite place? Favorite place? Pakistan? No, no, specific. As in the... Somewhere to roam around, yeah. you know, go outside. England? Okay. England? Okay. okay. You don't sound so sure on that one. All right. Okay. Out of all your siblings, who do you think your mother loves the most? Arsalan. <laughs> the youngest. <laughs> to be honest, I could have told you that as well. <laughs> and I don't even know everyone. All right. All okay. Right. Uh, one everyone. of Okay. One of those habits which your mother never changed and you always wanted her to? Her strictness. 
strictness. Or strictness. All okay. right, so let's call Ami then. No, 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 wait, we're gonna do you on the plus. <laughs> it's the same, we've we got the same mother. Yeah, we have done, we, we've done, we are done with all our questions. So you do you agree with all the answers? Yeah, okay, I agree. No, 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 I think it's ghee <laughs> and roti. Oil and roti. Okay. What yeah. is your mother's favorite place? My mother's favorite place is home. Okay. Who out of your siblings do you think she loves the most? Yeah, okay. Salah. No doubt. <laughs> well, one of these habits which you wish your mother would never change, but you wish she did. I wanted her to roam around much more than she stays. Be back more home. social. Yeah. Okay. That's what it is. So let's call. Okay, Amina. we've got slightly different answers. So let's call. Uh, her mother. and Sidra's mother. Mrs. Let's Khan. Let's call Mrs. Khan. All right, so we're trying to call her. Meanwhile, okay. if we get to... Okay, so, so okay. she's here. Assalamu alaikum, Ammi. Wa alaikum assalam. Kya hale, bita? Ammi, Shazad baat kar raun. Kya hale? Aap thik hai? Mein thik hoon. Assalamu alaikum. So, ab maha bhi Ammi mere saath maujood hai, toh maha you'll uh, obviously translate whatever okay. she says. Yes. So, Ammi Sidra se, humne aap ke baare mein kuch sawalat poochhe. कि वो आपको कितना बेहतर जानती है तो अब मैं आपसे पूछूंगा वही सवाल दोबारा मुझे आपके जवाब चाहिए ठीक है ओके सो शिजाद हैज जस्ट एक्सप्लेन व्हाट्स हैपनिंग सो नाउ ही इज गोइंग टू आस्क हिज मदर द सेम क्वेश्चंस एंड वी गोना सी व्हाट द आंसर्स आर हियर या अम्मी रेडी हैं या अच्छा अम्मी मुझे ये बताएं आपका फेवरेट कलर कौन सा है वाइट पिंक वाओ ठीक है दैट्स द ओनली अच्छा आपकी खाने में सबसे पसंदीदा डिश कौन सी है एक फेवरेट जो बच्चा है वो कौन है नहीं मेरे माँ तो बच्चे सब फेवरेट ही होंगे अदर कोई फर्क नहीं है जवाब देना सिद्धरा ने एक जवाब दिया है और शिजाद ने भी एक जवाब दिया है हाँ मुझे पता क्या दिया होगा अरसलान कहाँ होगा और क्या कहना है उसने या सादिया कहाँ होगा अरसलान ओराइट अच्छा आप में हमने सिद्धरा से ये पूछा कि ऐसी कौन सी आदत है आप जो सिद्धरा चाहती थी आप चेंज कर लें और आज तक आपने चेंज नहीं की तो आपको क्या लगता है वो ऐसी कौन सी आदत थी पता नहीं शायद उसका होगा या मारपीट होगी और क्या थैंक यू वेरी मच यू प्लेड वेरी वेल अम्मी थैंक यू वेरी मच और आज चूंकि मदर्स डे है तो वी डेफिनेटली लव यू घर आके अब जब भी दूंगा आपको एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर स्पेंडिंग आवर टाइम थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर बीइंग विद अस एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर ऑल द प्रेयर्स यू डू फॉर अस एवरी डे ग्रेट अल्लाह हाफिज़ आई लव यू अल्लाह हाफिज़ Okay, so that was uh, Shazad. Oh, that's great. A gift hamper. Yeah. yeah. No, we do have we do have a gift hamper, but it's uh, in the back of the studio, so <laughs> okay. we'll probably do it. Okay. So show. now let's move on, and we will ask you um, the same questions, mm -hmm. and then we're going to call your mother, and we're going to ask her. Hi. So the, where are the questions gone? Uh, I'm are, off. Yeah, yeah, so we're confused. Questions. Okay. So what is your mother's favorite color? Green or golden? Golden, right? You have to pick one. Black. Black. Okay. Black. Okay. You've just changed. Okay. <laughs> Green, golden. No, black. Okay. <laughs> dish. What's a favorite eating dish? Um, lasagna. Lasagna. Okay. Uh, lasagna. Okay. Uh, what is your mother's favorite place? Switzerland is something like in Pakistan, like Patriata. Okay. I don't know what you're trying to say. Patriata. 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 Okay. <laughs> I thought she said Switzerland. Yeah, she even said Switzerland. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, no, repeat one. All right. So, what? I, what out of all, do you have brothers and sisters? Yep. Okay. Who is your fa mother's favorite? Obviously, my brother. Oh. You're the only one. Oh, obviously, <laughs> my brother. That's so sad the way she said <laughs> that. Like, um, okay. One of those habits that your mother has, which you want her to change. Um, should I? Should I? Should I go wait a second? No, no. <laughs> okay, you know what? She just gets on the top. Like, hey, relax. Yeah, it's go okay. ahead. It's she fights okay. with your father? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Right. no not that. She yeah. tells you off? She grounds you? Nope. Then? then? She's perfect. Yeah, she's very okay, perfect. Okay, great. She's perfect. <laughs> 
Okay, so now let's call um, Nihal's mother and find out how well she did. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is that we're going to go for a short break and when you guys are going to come back, we'll have your mother on telephone with us and let's see whether you did great or not. Okay. Let's go for a break. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. And, you know, for everybody who just got tuned into PT World, you watch it World this morning alongside Shazad Khan and Maha Magdoom. And today, since it's Sunday and we do not usually do a show, but since it was Mother's Day, so we had to come out of our homes and beds and dedicate a show to all our mothers who are out exactly. there. Exactly. If you missed it, Shazad made me cry today because he was so mean. So, you know, oh <laughs> it's a joke. I would almost... <laughs> well, I know I can take a joke on this channel. <laughs> anyway, no, it was, it's an emotional, it was quite, you know, we're appreciating our mothers. We're realizing the benefits of them. And we should do this every day. Every exactly. day should be Mother's Day. But today is the, you know, it's just an excuse to express our feelings that we wouldn't normally. So now, Nihal. And we're doing a Mother's Day quiz right now. We've asked Nihal quite a lot of questions. Her mother's on the line. So Nihal, hey, it's your time to say hello to your mother. <laughs> hello, Miss Nasheen. How are you? Um, fine, absolutely fine. So we asked Nihal a couple of questions yeah. because she thought that she knows her mother. Yeah. So we're going to just confirm whether she said it all right or wrong, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, so if you can hear me, the first question was, what is your favorite color? Uh, Sorry, black. can you please speak a bit louder? Black. Black is my favorite color. Oh. Black, that's yeah. correct. <laughs> well done. So Nihal said black as well. Okay, so your favorite dish? Uh, louder. I think Brianne. Oh, that's wrong. She said lasagna. Okay, and oh. then your favorite place to roam around? Shangri-La. Shangri-La. But Shangri-La is yeah. closer to Patriota yeah. as well. So yeah, that's good. <laughs> and then we asked Nihal that your mother loves who? The most. The most, yeah. Okay. So was it Nihal? Was it her brother? Because we do not know how many siblings they are. <laughs> who do you love the most? I think uh, everyone is dear to me. Yeah, obviously. But as but she's uh, younger, so I love her more. Oh. Yeah, she said it right. Oh, she was. She right. already That's... knew it that you love your, you know, the, the younger son as well. Okay, oh, so one last Nihal. question, <laughs> right now, and that is that you know one habit which Nihal wants you to change, but you haven't so far. Uh, sorry, couldn't get you. Sorry, so we asked Nihal that one habit which she wants you to change, but you haven't so far. Uh, whenever she sings, I ask him, please don't sing too much. <laughs> wow, fabulous. So, I love your mother. <laughs> like, she's Nasheen, so real. Miss Nasheen, you know what she said? She said, my mother is perfect. Oh, Aww. it's perfectly all right. So Excellent. Well done. Thank you, you did very well. much. Thank you very much. But Nihal, if you want to say something to your mother, go ahead. You know, it's a special occasion. I just want to say my mother, I love you. Yeah. Oh, nice. Thank Excellent. you very much for being Thank with you, us. So Shukra. Sidra, stop in the ranks right now. Let's move on to the next contestant over here, ladies and gentlemen. Maha, go Zen. ahead. Ask the question. Yeah. You know the questions. Okay. Your mother's favorite color? White. Okay. Cool. Uh, your mother's favorite dish? Blow. Oh, it doesn't matter. I don't think I can say it. Um, P -U -L -L. Favorite place? Uh, home or Makkah. Home. Okay. okay. Wait one second. Okay. Okay. Out of you have brothers and sisters? Yeah. Okay. How many? Four. Four. Okay. Uh, who does she love the most? Nadim bhai. Oh. Nadim bhai. The, the pain yeah, in the kid's eyes. <laughs> yeah, How exactly. Okay, so, so you somewhere landed in between, right? Are you no. The so you're not the youngest and you're not the youngest. I'm the youngest. You're the youngest. You're the youngest. Yes. Well, and that's you're not a the favorite. Yeah. You're that's a something. rare scenario. Yeah, you're yeah, doing something exactly. really wrong. Yeah. Okay, yeah. no I'm kidding. Okay, now, what is the habit of your mother's that you would change? She's always too busy. Too She's busy. always too worried. Too busy okay. or too worried? And I want her to be calm down. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's call. Let's call Zen's mo uh, mother. And meanwhile, when, you know, when uh, we're trying to get her on the uh, cell phone, yep. 
What else do yeah. you want to share about your mother as a person? My, mm. After the death of my father, mm. my mother uh, is a lone lady. Mm. So it's a double responsibility on me and my all the brothers mm. to always try to keep her and uh, always try to push up in a positive way. Mm. And whatever she, she say, whatever she say, we always like have to smile. Okay. 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 So okay. that's a big day for me to say, say my mother anything. Mm. And uh, obviously I would say that I love you. Okay, so, um, you know, in the beginning you said you, you found it easier to express yourself through a video in front of a camera. Exactly. Rather than going up to your mother and seeing it face to face. Uh, um, why? Why do you think that is? I don't know why, but I think it's a bit hurdles mm -hmm. uh, that I got. I'm not very emotional. Mm -hmm. I'm not very uh, expressive until un unless I have a script and I'm on camera. Okay, do you think that's okay? Uh, what about you, uh, uh, Meheradhan? Do you think, do you express your feelings towards your mother or do you wait till the Mother's Day? Or mm. Eid or something? I never explain my feelings with my mother oh. because she already already knows everything. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 well, that, was, that was a fabulous comment. That was a great right? comment. How yeah. about you, Sudra? What do you think? I don't personally really believe on Mother's Day. Mm. You can't wait all the year just for a day to say, Mama, I love you. Mm. I have always been tried to be there for her. Mm. But have you always been expressive? Do you guys not too your much? Never. Ne yeah. Why? The way you said it's like, no, no, not too no, much. No, yeah. It, I don't know. I think it's the daily routine that goes on and mm. you go by the flow. You, mm. never real you never stopped and realized, okay. We need to acknowledge her. Mm. That is what you do on the Mother's Day. You yeah. need to stop and you need to see what she has done for you. You need to acknowledge her. Mm. Though I won't wait for Mother's Day if I, yeah. you know, if I feel like. Okay, okay now, no, wait, sorry, yeah, go ahead, now go when ahead. now that you've got kids, are you doing the same or are you more expressive or do you have do you hug them? Why are them? you taking my words again? Oh, yes. sorry. Because <laughs> we're on this we're on a level, yeah. man. Go ahead. <laughs> I think um, my daughter so is very contrary to how I was. She makes card for me on every occasion, mm. and it's like she takes hours of mm. doing it with a very little minute detail. And I love her for that. Mm. She's very caring as well, but I have never been this expressive. Okay. All right, very nice. Excellent. But right now we've been joined by Mrs. Farida, and let's see. Hello, Aslam Nego Me. Fito? Yes, Fito. जी जैन से जैन को पहचानती हैं आप <laughs> जी जी जैन से अच्छा मेरा बेटा है आपने जैन से ये पूछा कि आपकी वालदा का पसंदीदा रंग क्या है बताइए आपका पसंदीदा रंग क्या है जी मेरा पसंदीदा रंग है वाइट वाइट जबरदस्त जवाब दिया जबरदस्त जवाब दिया उसने बिल्कुल ठीक जवाब दिया फिर हमने उससे अगला सवाल ये पूछा कि आपको खाने में क्या पसंद है जी खाने में मुझे सारा चीज पसंद है मगर ये है कि सब्जी वगैरह ज्यादा सब्जी ये जवाब उसका गलत हुआ जैन ने कहा था पुलाव जैन को पसंद होगा मेरा ख्याल है पुलाव वैसे जैन को क्या पसंद है माजी जैन को जी माशाल्लाह से पुलाव पसंद चिकन पसंद है उसको तो बहुत अच्छे से खाने में आपको जोड़ी जा रहा है अच्छा फिर हमने उससे ये पूछा कि आपको घूमने के लिए सबसे अच्छी जगह कौन सी लगती है या वैसे इस पूरी दुनिया में कौन सी सबसे अच्छी जगह लगती है आपको मुझे जी उमरा करना हज करना अच्छा लगता है क्या बात है जैन ने बहुत अच्छा जवाब दिया जैन ने भी यही बोला अच्छा ये बताइए कि आप अपने चारों बच्चों में से किससे सबसे ज्यादा मोहब्बत करती हैं जी ये तो मैं सबसे ज्यादा ये तो बड़े बेटे से भी और ये जो है ये तो बहुत प्यारा बेटा है ये छोटा है उसने नदीम भाई का नाम लिया नदीम भाई जो है वो आपके सबसे बड़े बेटे हैं जी <laughs> 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 लेकिन यहां पे भी जवाब जो है वो जैन का गलत हो गया जैन ने कहा आप बहुत मसरूफ रहती हैं वो आपको कहते रहते हैं कि आप रेस्ट करें लेकिन आप नहीं करती हैं और आप परेशानी भी बहुत लेती हैं चले मां जी खुश रहिएगा जैन कुछ कहना चाहते हो अपनी वालदा को इंशाल्लाह घर आके मिलते हैं और वहां
All right. All so right. now, be before we move on to you, there's one more okay. thing which I wanted to ask Sidra, and that mm -hmm. is that since you're a mother now yourself, you know, so everybody as human beings do have feelings, emotions, and then they they can even have an overrush of all of these feelings as well. So at times, there are kids like us, obviously, and, you know, they're naughty and they make mistakes. So the person or the mother, obviously, will feel bad about it. Personal, she can take it personally as well. How do you feel when your kids do something? And what is that type of emotion which you go through that, you know, okay, you know, this shouldn't be happening or what happened so that we can better understand our mothers as well? I think um, you should calm down. The mothers need to calm down. Let the scenario pass by and think over it, what needs to be done, mm. and then start acting on a strategy that you devise in your mind. This is the better way to handle your child. Oh, amazing. Because you wouldn't want him to have a negative vibes from you. But mothers do get hurt. Not really. No, My not kids really, are too young. I don't know. I don't know for the elder ones. Yeah, but for the time being, mothers yeah. do get hurt. Till now, I haven't been through it. Yeah. But maybe yes. <laughs> oh, you know, but the thing is, like that one thing, like you know, as children, we, I mean, we're not children now. But, I mean, we are our parents' children forever. But oh, it's so complicated saying these things. Um, but when um, they get upset with you or mm -hmm. when you get upset with your parents once once they're told you off the, like you said they're strict so you if you, you used to get told off so you must have got, got upset with them and you're like oh i don't like you 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 know you upset me and i don't want to talk to you ever again you know how kids throw tantrums now that you're a mother yourself do you think you would be able to handle such things or do you think i think throwing tantrum is very natural mm. that's your response this mm. is how you respond to a situation yeah but um, when it comes to us, our mothers used to throw tantrums. We used to be like quiet and everything. And then the other day, it's a new morning. Oh, I mean, no, no, it's a new morning. It's a new scenario. I, no, 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 no. I'm talking about the kids throwing tantrums. Oh, the kids. We were not allowed to, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. We used to get beaten a lot. Oh, Chappal and hairbrush. <laughs> Chappal and hairbrush. Yeah. Yeah. All right, but ladies and gentlemen, right now, what we need to do is we need to move on towards a short break. But when we guys are going to come back, we obviously have one more contestant who's going to answer all of those questions which we need to ask. Let's go for a break. Welcome back, everyone. And before the break, we are uh, we're observing a Mother's Day because and celebrating. Our celebrating mothers. because we're celebrating our mothers and we're observing Mother's Day. But every day is Mother's Day, and that's one thing that we really need to start valuing and appreciating the people around us that do things for us. You know, obviously, you know, there can be times when mothers aren't always reasonable because of all the emotion and love that they feel for a situation or their child. But that it's just about understanding them exactly. and understanding the situation. So now let's continue with Mehrad Nan. And now it's his turn to test him to see how well they know their mothers. And so far, I think Sidra's winning. Uh, the others did pretty well. And uh, yeah, and then we're going to bring in the mothers. So yeah. let's ask the questions. So what's your mother's favorite color? If you say white, I'm going to speak to the mother and be like, guys, you need to get some color in your palette. I think, I think it's blue. Blue. Oh, blue. great. All I right. hope it's blue. Um, okay, a favorite dish. Uh, I never saw her. You never seen her eat? <laughs> yeah. Because oh my God, she's uh, never seen her eat. But still trying. No, what but is still trying. Uh, I think, I think. Um, think about it. You know, sabzi. Sabzi. Okay, Vegetables. Veg. Yep. Well, that's a very vast uh, explanation it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. of what well, she loves to eat. Okay, what's her favorite place? Uh, Islamabad. Islamabad, okay. Islamabad, all right. Okay, uh, mm. uh, you have brothers and sisters? Yeah. Okay, uh, great. We have half dozen. <laughs> okay, oh, okay, mashallah. <laughs> okay, so who does your mother love the most? The elder one, Gulfam. Okay, oh, why did, it's always the elders and the youngest. Yeah. The middle ones have it uh, tough. We just landed mm. Okay, and what is one... Um, thing that your mother that you would change about her she always wait for me oh. and uh, you don't want her to wait basically yeah. <laughs> men never want any woman waiting for them because <laughs> that's what i've learned all right so assalamu alaikum mummy wa alaikum assalam beta kya hal hai aapka theek hai aap ji bilkul aap kaise 
अल्लाह का शुक्र आपका बड़ा प्यारा सा बेटा मेहर अदनान हमारे साथ मौजूद है आपको खाने में क्या पसंद है बहुत शौक से से? खाती हूं। क्या खाती हैं? बहुत शौक से? सब्जियां। अच्छा आपको घूमने फिरने के लिए कौन सी जगह सबसे ज्यादा पसंद है इस्लामाबाद ज्यादा पसंद है ये बताए मैसेज तो नहीं किया इसने अभी आपको नहीं बिल्कुल भी नहीं नहीं किया अच्छा अब अब अगला सवाल ये है की सब बहन भाइयों में से आप किसको सबसे ज्यादा प्यार करती है छोटी को ज्यादा प्यार किया जाता है। आह, इससे सबसे बड़े को कहा था? बड़े बड़े किन 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 गुल्फाम। ओके, गुल्फाम। गुल्फाम से नहीं प्यार करती आप गुल्फाम आई नो दैट्स रियालिटी आई एम कंफ्यूज हु And that's what you said. Yep. Yeah, yeah, right. okay, ये भी सवाल का जवाब ठीक भी है अच्छा माँ जी ऐसी आपकी कौन सी आदत है जो ये आपको बार बार कहता रहता है की माँ जी इस आदत को बदल लें या रोक लें लेकिन आपने आज तक नहीं बदली ऐसी तो कोई भी नहीं है लेकिन इनको कहाँ समझ आएगा ये बच्चे है तो आप अपनी वालदा से कुछ कहना चाहते हैं यही कहूँगा की आई कॉन्ट कंक्लूड यू इन लाइन से बोलिए माँ जी आवाज आ रही है आपको जी आ रही है Uh, अम्मी मैं आपको लफ्जों में एक्सप्लेन नहीं कर सकता आए। आपने इतना प्यार दिया आज मैं जो भी कुछ भी हूँ आपकी वजह से हूँ या वाली साहब की वजह से हूँ So. You guys need to step up your game. <laughs> okay, but that's the thing. Congratulations. The winner is that now your mother knows just how well you know her. Um, and uh, no, thank you so much for being on the show. Have a wonderful day with your mothers, and I hope you have a great day. Yeah, exactly. That's what it is, the ladies and gentlemen. So that was a little chit chat with all the kids. In fact, young kids as well and young mother. But right now. We're going to get some real mothers on the show as well. No, they're real. <laughs> but they're <laughs> yeah, they're like real. Experienced mother. Experienced mother. All right. <laughs>
Because of their unique decor style, these vehicles are quite distinct in layers from other trucks around the world. Each part of the vehicle is decorated differently with variations depending on the regional style. In Pakistan, a truck driver, owner, usually pays $3,000 to $5,000 for their vehicle's external decoration. The art embellishes such trucks according to the particular tastes of the driver. Nearly every city in Pakistan has a unique decor. The Balochistani and Pashari trucks are heavily trimmed with wood. Raulpindi and Islamabad trucks have permanently featured plastic work. Camel-borne ornamentation is commonly seen in trucks decorated by Sindh artists. These trucks are also representative of different local historical and cultural regions of Pakistan. Thus, these trucks are also representative of different historical and cultural regions of Pakistan, the enchanting arts and crafts of Pakistan. The largest cultural activity in Pakistan is the annual national folk festival, Lok Mela, held in Islamabad in October each year. Over the past two decades, this festival has taken on an international flavour and more than 20 different countries have sent their artisans and performers to participate in the festival. Nationally, the festival has become a thing of pride for artisans and performers who come on their own to participate. Most important of all, the provinces of Pakistan and Azad Jammu and Kashmir put up beautifully decorated pavilions and visitors had the unique opportunity to see an assortment of Pakistan's traditionally rich culture in the federal capital of Islamabad for an exciting 10 days. An exhibition of artisans at work under the banner of the Heritage Museum forms the core of this festival. Pavilions of each province depict their own regional culture and crafts the research and media center of Lok Virsa arranges groups of dancers that perform all over the festival grounds, inviting visitors to join in, and in the evening arranges music concerts from all parts of Pakistan. This festival is a true depiction of the diversity found in Pakistani culture. Fairs and Festivals of Pakistan Assalamualaikum and a good afternoon. Welcome back to our special transmission for Mother's Day. And before the break, we were in discussion with the kids and young mothers and talking about what does it mean to them, why don't they express themselves. We played a game. It was very lighthearted. But now we're actually going to be discussing it on a more serious social front um, because you know, not ev just because you have children doesn't mean everyone is able to be a good mother. Uh, but some people are great mothers. What makes a great mother? What's the responsibility? So to discuss all these things and what it means to our guests. We've been joined by some wonderful guests in the studio and Shazad's going to do the Yeah, because there can be all types of possibilities, ladies and gentlemen. Not everybody is very lucky to get good set of parents as well. Mm. And then you, there are people who actually have to live with, you know, their foster parents as well. And mm. then there are people who might not have good experiences. Mm. So we might have a few recommendations by our panelists over here mm. who are real-time mothers as well. And uh, obviously they've got their hands at work as well. And, mm. you know, they are social activists, their education is, they work as well. Mm -hmm. And they make sure that they are breaking all of those barriers which were prevalent within our society. Exactly. And they are the reason, these are the type of women, the reason why these societies and communities and 
countries are still continuing because they've managed to find a nice balance. Because I do not remember it very correctly, but you know, I'm sorry if I'm wrong, because they say if you teach a mother, you teach the entire humanity as mm, well. So exactly. you know, that's what it is. And we do need educated mothers as well. Mm. So on my right hand side, mm. not very well today, we've got mm. Dr. Isa Abid, who's an educationist and educational psychologist. Hello, ma'am. How are you? I'm fine and I'm great because I get to talk about my favorite subject, which is parenting eventually. <laughs> great. Thank you very I'm much so for, excited. Thank you very much for being with us alongside her. We have got the General Manager International, the City School, Ms. Itrit Rubab Heather. Hello, ma'am. How are you? Thank you so much. <coughs> fine. And I'm really excited to be in the, over here right now. And, and we're, we're happy to have you here. Thank you very thank much you for so coming much. over. And last but not the least, the, you know, she's got so many hands, uh, hats. She's a social activist. She's a remedial therapist. Ideas First Institute for Di Dyslexic Children, then founder of Bazicha Trust, none other than Mrs. Ira Mumtaz. Hello, how are you? Assalamu alaikum. I'm, alhamdulillah, I'm fine. And it's always good to be on this set. Happy Mother's you Day, and you're wearing Thank a you. fabulous color as and well. Thank you. We have some, and some of my favorite guests from our previous shows. You guys are wonderful. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thank it's you. always a good conversation. So let's get started. Happy Mother's Day, first of all, to everybody. And let's see, how do you uh, see this day? Okay, I, wait, I, Dr. Isa, I feel like we'll start with Mrs. Erin first okay. and then we'll move on to you. So what does it mean to you as also as a principal? Uh, like a mother day? General, yes. Yeah. Yes, uh, you know, so it's, German, it's, yeah. it's something like, you know, it's come from the heart, the mother's day. And uh, personally, I'm not in the favor of celebrating a mother day mm. because every day should be a mother day mm. because th th you are coming from somebody. Mm. So uh, for me, mm. as an educationist also, mm. I'm fortunate enough that to have so many children around me um, to whom I can just look up as I am their mother as well. Yeah. And they're, they're very own to me. Mm, that's great. Yes. But okay. it does get annoying at times, no? We'll ask about <laughs> it. We'll ask <laughs> not really. No, you're so positive. How about you, Doctor? Is it tell us? About what, being a mother or Mother's Day? Mother's Day. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, that's scary. That's tricky. But, well, Mother's Day is like, I, w I was talking to some people and they said, look, it's so hyped up, it's so artificial and mm. we don't need it and everything. Uh, but let me say this thing. Why we need Mother's Day? Mm. It's because we need symbols and we tend to forget, take mothers for granted. And it's for a ripple effect? Yeah, for, and, and you see uh, here we have this little thing, okay, if you have moved away from your mother and so it's a reminder sort of. Mm. Symbols need to be, uh, you know, glorified. Okay. All right. So let's take Mother's Day as a symbol mm. and uh, uh, bring into our conscious awareness that mm. she is a relation not to be taken for granted. Exactly. How wonderful. And uh, I think on the other side of it, mother, Motherhood is a 24-hour duty. It's a yeah. wonderful duty because you are thinking of your children 24 hours. There's no peace. There's no there's no relaxation. You are praying for them. You are thinking of their well-being, mm. and your reward is um, that hug, yeah. that yeah. smile, and you know that just keeps us going for the next oh next, next ten don't years. Even do that. I yeah. mean, this but gosh. I'm very sorry to say there's there's this phenomena. Okay, I, I mean you can even disagree to that. But what I have seen is that this river of love the stream is always downwards you know it, it never goes up back again and i think that's very correct as well so you cannot love your parents the way they have loved you but in fact when it comes to your children your parents love them more than you as well so it never comes <laughs> back so by the time you obviously have to make sure that you're making up to that relationship as well but let's see what mrs iram has to say about the day okay first of all i tend to agree with itrat you know uh, for me uh, Mother's Day, every day is a mother day. Mm. Yeah. You see, uh, because you're a mother every day. Yeah, yeah. unfortunately, we uh, tend to uh, apply whatever is happening in the West. This is this basically the Mother's Day thing originated in West, mm. and we have just adopted it. How can we give just one day mm. a special treatment out of 365 days to a mother mm. who has done so much for us, her yeah. unconditional love, who's there for us? So for me, every day is a mother day. Mm. And that is what, uh, being an educationist, that is what I inculcate to my students as well. Right. So we shouldn't be blindly following the West KG Mother's Day. Okay, that's fair. Hai to okay. Okay, really? that's fair. I agree <laughs> to that as well. You know, yeah. quite a lot of people are saying mm. that. I understand that. Mm. I, I think very differently. Now, mm -hmm. what I assume by my own self is that, you know, at least because over here within Pakistan, I have never ever seen anybody celebrating their mothers. At least if for one day we get to do that, I think we shouldn't think like that. Uh, that's, that's what I think mm. and that's what I assume as well and that's how I go by the day as well. Mm. But you know, Dr. Isa, moving on to you. Now when we say that you know, mothers have never ever been celebrated 
in this subcontinent. I'm mm -hmm. talking about the entire continent. You mean as of the specific day? Yeah, yeah, but not just the day, but throughout 365 days, you know, you never go to your mother and say or appreciate what she's been doing for you. Mm. In fact, what we do is we just take, it's not even, the right word is not for granted. I think the right word would be we just take the relation very lightly. You know, we never go and we see that, you know, it's a 24-7 thing, so it's just normal. But how as a mother you want to experience that, you know, when we say we're celebrating mothers today, how do you think the celebration needs to be? For the Mother's Day, it's being linked to your child, basically. Yeah. When you understand your child's need, the children, when you say it doesn't flow backward, it's because the children don't understand the needs of the mother as a human being. Mm. But it's nature? It's nature. Yeah. And, and because here, especially in this subcontinent, we gloss over our own needs. The girls are taught to... Put the, push their own needs in the background mm -hmm. and hardly 15 16 18 year old girls they become mothers mm -hmm. and then straight away it's an overnight transformation mm -hmm. and yeah. they're a mother so at every level the human being is pushed back mm -hmm. so how do you celebrate you celebrate by the uh, the, the person mm -hmm. and that's why I said we need a symbol in here mm -hmm. to acknowledge that yes mothers are doing something let's mm -hmm. there is a commercial aspect and whatever mm -hmm. but how you celebrate it you by knowing what your mother is like, I bet you ask 100 people, yeah. what does she really like? What's her favorite color? What's her favorite food? Yeah. What would she like to do? What she hasn't done for years? Majority would not know. Mm. We had so, a very good panel before. Yeah. 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 So, so, if the, so the second thing is, mm. as we grow older, we move away from the mother and the common points stop, especially for boys. Yeah. Yeah. So, the linkages get weakened and weakened. And so there, she's there as a figure who is praying for you, who is wishing for you. But you know, your interests are different, your friends are different, and lots of things. So get back in it touch is. with her. That's true, because I was thinking when these we were doing the test for the kids before, mm -hmm. I couldn't probably answer all those questions. So I was like, I need to call my mother afterwards and find out what her favorite color is. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, moving forward. Now, yeah. this is what Shazad said, you know, um, you know, I feel like, because I growing up in UK and then, but you knew in Pakistan people respect their parents, the level of respect and love they have for their mothers. You know, you never say no to your mother. Heaven is at the underneath the feet of your mother, etc. But what I found since moving is that people are not expressive. Uh, I mean, and this is a huge generalization of stereotypes. Because, but that's what we work on. We can't yeah. speak for every specific individual. We do have a uh, an an idea or behavior here that we don't express our feelings and we don't call our mothers, I miss you, I love you, I'll give you a hug. My mother was very expressive. You know, my father has become more, but you know, I guess they have that, but they were very expressive too. Why do we, you know, why does Shazad need Mother's Day to give his mother a hug? Because maybe that, that's her, uh, that was her parenting style which has led to some... But that's that generation, it? like uh, all the kids sitting here too, they were like, no, I feel shy. Mother. I feel shy even touching my mother. Because yeah. here, yeah. Uh, maybe yeah. she never encouraged uh, yeah. you. Uh, her, maybe she was never expressive herself, physically expressive. Yeah. And so there's a barrier, which is uh, unconscious barriers, yeah. and which, which we cannot cross, no matter how much we yeah. want. So and when such a day comes, I yeah. think I take advantage of the opportunity. Uh, that's, so that's so we need sort of a uh, yeah. cover uh, for that. Just moving ahead with the, uh, what Isa is saying, you know, acknowledgement, recognition, mm. and you know, encouragement is everybody's heart and that too for them if we are talking about yeah. the mothers. As, mm. as you said that you feel shy, mm. it's, the, it's like the way you have brought up. Mm. And you know, being Muslims, mm. uh, the, the importance of the mother is, is extremely important yeah. as a religion point of view. Yeah. And we living in uh, Pakistan and in any Muslim country have that privilege to take care of our parents. Mm. While we're talking about the Western society where the mother's days, they have the old houses, they, they need to go to their parents mm. to acknowledge their efforts. So we are lucky enough for, uh, yeah, for that. Yeah, those are the good cases there yeah. because you know, a lot of people don't listen to their mothers, then, but the, they look after them. Yes, and the respect of the parents, and I think uh, mm. not particularly talking about everyone, but but in general, every house has the respect for the parents. Absolutely. So, so that, that is an advantage for... Exactly. Uh, like, and you know, it's not even easy to be a mother, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And we do have a small clip to share at this point of time. 
So what we're going to do is, obviously it's not from Pakistan, but since it's Mother's Day, it's global as well. Mm -hmm. And this clip went viral of a lady who's got quadruples. Mm -hmm. So she went into a pantry just to have a break while, oh, yes. while uh, the father was actually out there cleaning the ramp, I think. That's what it was. So we need to share that video as well. Let's go ahead, take a look at that clip. When you, when you guys are going to come back, we'll move on to Mrs. Iram over here. We'll ask her, how is it to be a mother? All right, let's take a look at this clip. Dad's out shoveling the driveway. Mom desperately needed a treat to get through the rest of the night. So I'm hiding in the pantry. Eating a treat. Is that wrong? They don't ever go away. They want everything you have. See? She's always there. Hey. Hey. Hi. So that was a clip for you, and it's hilarious. I've seen it so many times. And then this lady was actually invited, flew, flown to the show. And <laughs> yeah. I mean, having a lot of kids, I mean. And, you know, especially for a person who's been trying to have kids for eight long years, and all together they got quadruplets, mashallah. Quadruplets, yeah. But, you know, this is how hard a mother's life can be. So let's see what Mrs. Iram has to say about being a mother. Is it hard? Is it not? You uh, love it? It is a challenging job, you know, but uh, at the same time, I love it, you know, like uh, give, uh, giving uh, uh, birth to two beautiful kids mm. and then I adopted one and amazing. I'm a mother of three, alhamdulillah. So it's such an amazing feeling, you know, and, and of course, when you uh, talk about respect, when you see that definition, we need to define in a second, then mm. not answering back, mm. you know, not really I'm saying or asking for your rights or anything like that. Mm -hmm. This does not mean that you are being disrespectful. Mm. Yeah. You see, in uh, olden days, they used to think that, oh, whatever the parents say, you have to listen to them. Yeah. But now, you know, our kids are more open. They're more vocal, mm. right? I think so, our mothers are now more yeah, open. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's more uh, uh, that generation gap is not there. Exactly. You see, we are more friendly. They're, ju they're just like my friends, you know. Awesome. Whatever I'm doing, I'm into sports, I'm into a lot of stuff. So it's a crazy family out there. <laughs> you know? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I know that's great yeah. when the parents also become their friends, but this notion of being friends with your parent, with mm -hmm. your mother, what do you think about that? I remember my mother asked me once as well about... Well, I think it's a bad idea because <laughs> uh, initially they say, oh, you know, we are friends, so, you know, we can talk about everything. Once you say everything, you're grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's, what's the point? So I took this chance once and I'm not taking this chance again. Well, we needed some weapons to get, get the kids under control, you yeah. see, so that's yeah. the label yeah. of friendship. Yeah. So obviously parenting is not easy. <clears throat> parenting is, and uh, to add to Irim's uh, words, when you become a parent, actually you regrow, you go through those whole phases yourself. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're really sensible mm. this second time growing up, mm. you shed a lot of your own inhibitions and your destructive thoughts and your negative complexes. complexes. So you need to regrow in a new age and time. And that is what good parenting and uh, good, uh, you know, uh, relationships develop because if you are imposing the values and outdated things yeah. you have learned, so th this is basically what happens. And your second question was? Uh, no, the parenting is difficult. It, it, you pretty much said it all. But mm. now what I want to know is so I got quite a lot of kids saying. do not have any idea Mm -hmm. what should they do for their mothers that the mothers are going to love? So since you guys are mothers, why don't we drop some hints for all those people who are out there that you can probably do this and your mother will be very happy one by one. Okay, I think if you if you go by this culture, mm. you say they m marry the girl or the boy the mother wants to marry. <laughs> yeah. Do the do the subjects they want uh, want do you to take up. You take degree. up the career you want to. And in short, just do what she wants you to do. That's that's the bottom line. And then you're really? a very good child. Half of the time child. she wants you to get the from so, market. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, this do that also. so this is a good mother, yeah. child. This is a good child. Okay. okay. But uh, the and best... And if your you, child does that, that means you're a successful mother. Then you're a successful... You know, you're obedient. So obedience is what is... You and know, obedience do good. vary wait, amongst wait, wait. mothers as Just, well. Wait, wait, let, uh, finish your point. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but the point, <laughs> thing is that in this obedience, mm. you give up something of your own because here we have this very strong religious thing. You do, you know, you are supposed to obey your mothers, and you give up your will. Mm. 
and then you eventually take away your children's will. Yeah. So the best thing mothers can give on this Mother's Day is mental freedom to their children to mm. be what they want and to accept them. And this is unconditional love, yeah. that you accept them for what they are. I think it should be the other way around today. Okay, the kids should give no, mental freedom oh, to mothers. Yeah. No, and and yeah. same yeah. way, well, same the way. Point. <laughs> kids, now, you, I said uh, the children should, you know, choose the career their mother wants, choose the girl or boy the mother wants. That's the only yeah. thing. And, yeah. shading, and, then, and then having shadi with Pupi ki beti. Yeah, yeah. but then that's the thing. <laughs> that's, yeah. 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 that's what you're saying. Then yeah. that, that's what makes the mother that happy. Is, yeah. that's the so then, so I'm just being a son, you know. Come on. It's all right. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So now, th this is the thing. This is oh, He raised a really poor... I'm just being a son. Hmm. Now he's done all of these things. Hmm. He's miserable. Hmm. He's not being nice to his mother for the rest of the year because he did everything she wants. Is that a motherly love? Is that Mother's Day? What is that? That's, that's sheer, the that's of the sheer blackmail and exploitation of mother's okay. love, actually. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you took it, that's okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, I just take it uh, a little different because mm. um, I just get the setback because the children want to do whatever they want to do. Mm. And uh, I just want, as a mother, that they should excel in their life, education, and and they become a good human being. Why I'm saying this is because uh, my daughter, she, she, she want, I wanted her to become a doctor. Mm. And uh, she ended up in taking uh, business and finance. Excellent. And she very cleverly convinced me, and I'm convinced. Okay. So yeah. I think time has changed. Now you have to go according to the children's yeah. needs. And uh, you need to know their mental condition, what exactly they want. Okay. I'm sorry Why should that you are laughing? Yeah, I'm laughing, sorry, because, you know, majority of the time, mothers do not even agree to each other. <laughs> I think yeah, that's a bit I don't understand. What do you well. mean? I mean, every mother has got their own idea of grooming their children, so, right? And, so, and you know, why do you expect a stereotype yeah. thinking? But yeah. Why do you expect that? That's why a I'm saying that thinking. opinions yeah. can vary. Yeah, but yeah. about the marriage, yeah, I, I think I will become, a, a, you know, uh, like I want them to, to listen to me. You yeah. know, I, maybe I'm not that, you know, open about it right now. <laughs> so it's, it's different. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And I, I personally feel that as mothers, you know, like when we, like I second what uh, Isa said, that we, uh, you know, set these rules and guidelines, okay, if you do this, then yeah. you are my favorite son or daughter. Yeah. We shouldn't be doing that as mothers. You know, we are they're, they're there to give them guidelines, okay, well, the pros and cons, the good and the bad behavior, right? Mm, yeah. But give them freedom of yes. choice. You know, that is what I, I feel personally, yeah. and that's what I've done. You know, it's not that about uh, what I'm pra saying, and I don't practice in reality. You practice what you preach. Yeah, I okay. practice what I preach, and I've g given them the guidelines, okay? No matter, I know you're going to err, uh, we are all humans. You can't be perfect. You are going to make faults, but I want you to come and confide in me. Exactly. I don't want it from a third person. Yeah. And exactly. know that, you know, that 100% obedient, tabidar, marrying okay, girl of my choice. No, in fact, it's the other way around. I'm telling them, please, decide for yourself. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 so that, that's great. Um, you know, that's a very understanding, uh, you know, very forward-thinking mm. way of Mother's Day. But now, um, Shazad has yeah. a question. There's, there's just one thing which, which keeps on bugging me, and that is that, you know, obviously, you know, mothers are the best blessing Allah has actually gifted if us. If they're a good mother, yes. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Mine is, Mine uh, is uh, thankfully. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, no matter what we say or what we do as son, you know, or as kids, nothing hurts them. Until unless yes. you have the courage to go and say sorry, and I'm not going to do it again. Yes. But you as mothers, you know, obviously you're not perfect human beings anyways. Nobody is. Yes. My mother you know, is. mothers do make mistakes as well. And then they do need recognition and encouragement yes. at times by their kids. I don't see that coming in our society as well, where kids get together to make sure that the mother's doing well, emotionally, mentally, physically. How, how do you, what do you think we need to do in that respect? I think <coughs> you raised a very important point. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, a very good question. <laughs> and, uh, um, but let me pick up the previous point where uh, you said parents should be friends. Okay. There is a point where parents need to be friends. Mm. If you're friends too much, mm. children can share. But when parents start sharing, what is happening? The child is becoming the parent, and you are actually destroying his future relation. If the mother is talking too much about the husband, so there goes the future image of the spouse, whatever it is, all right? So there, there ha we have to have limits and uh, boundaries when we are talking about the uh, friend being friendly. So the parents need to give a safe haven to the child. Yeah. And hear everything, see everything, and guide them. Now, how, uh, when, 
like you said, it's very important to realize. Here, because of our religious thoughts and values, we have made parents, mother and father, sacrosanct. We can't question them, we can't, you know, and, and they are supposed to be perfect. But like you said, they are first of all, they are human beings. Yeah. And they make mistakes. Mm -hmm. And because the way they were brought up, the times they were brought up, they, there were a lot of limitations and issues. Yeah. And so when they became parents, maybe they could not overcome a lot of things and go through an experience of self-growth. Exactly. So uh, I wanted to mention this fact that many of us today celebrating Mother's Day, they may not have a had a very good relationship. Yeah. Mother may have been actually absolutely horrible in the sense of having beaten the child, yeah. having tortured. There are cases of child uh, sexual abuse where the parents have to, mother has turned the uh, face away and the child has not been protected. So s these are some very basic issues mm -hmm. and we still want the mother to be exalted above all. Yeah. So the child has to go through a very hard process of examining, self-examining, forgiveness, mm -hmm growth, regrowth, and therapy mm. to be able to find a place where the mother is respected and... No, sorry, valid. but you took it the other way. What mm. I was trying to ask was that, you know, at times mm. mothers can be down. They can feel a bit low as well in life when they get older. Yeah. How do you think that the kids, because kids always have this capacity of cheering their parents up. If the kids mm. are happy, they'll obviously be happy. Mm. So physically, mentally, socially, emotionally, how do you think we can, you know, for all those people who have missed out on their parents and now they want to make it back up to them, how do you think you can get do back it? in that's their what, lives? You, uh, what she, you, yeah, uh, you be in their lives, you be at the family functions, you take them to the family functions. Simple. Because you see, mothers are an institution. Yeah. Yeah. They are not just, uh, you know, a woman who is there to cook for you and yes. take care of your father. Mothers connect you to families. Yeah. They give you a way of life. To be there for them. So the, the linkages with the family, the whole family history, you, they are the custodian of your past. Yeah. And they give you the, your past. Today, I can't pick up, I have so many things to ask my mother, you know, and I can't pick up the phone mm. because she's not there. Mm. And so those are the gaps which I feel every day in my life. Mm -hmm. But those who are, have their mothers, yes. they, and there are so many things to share. Oh, that relative, why? Oh, that relative is saying that. And the mother has a whole background. And she's, okay, that's what you know how to need to see the situation. So if you're in your parents' life, yeah. take with them, you know what medicines they need to take when they need to go to the doctor. You can't go, maybe your friend is a doctor who can be there. So many things, and, and that's I can, how you and, get and, back. And I can relate to that as well. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry that I'm getting a bit emotional as well, but you know what happens is that even as a kid, and when you're growing up, there are certain experiences in your life when you ask your mother something and you, you know, she keeps on saying no, and you say that, okay, you know, if she's saying no, so that means no. But actually, that's not how it is. Mothers usually say no when they want you to say yes. Yeah. So please make sure that you do it by your own self. You, you just don't have to ask your mother again and again because she does not want you to do something for her because it's the other way around. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She has always been doing it. Yeah. So please make sure that you don't ask her again and again. Just do it whatever you want to do. Yeah. That's what yeah. it is. So any last words you guys have, please go ahead. I just want to mention about my mother once we were talking. I'm also getting emotion about that thing. I lost my father once I was just 13 years old. Yes. And my mother was, I think, at that time just 32 years old. And um, uh, she she worked really hard. Yeah. We were three uh, brother and sisters. So uh, every day she she's working. She is working for us. And she's, uh, we, we three of us are right now, alhamdulillah, in our good positions. But she has given her complete youth to the children, unconditional love. Mm. I don't consider myself that I am I am paying her back in the way the way she deserve, mm -hmm. but uh, here that comes that the unconditional love of the parents. Parents have unconditional love, and we as uh, like you know we we are not realizing till the time we have not become mothers. Mm -hmm. So you got the feelings once you are going through. Exactly. But one more point I want to add over here for the mothers, like you know, it's just saying, please do remember the kind of environment our children are growing up. We were just talking about the, the stress level our children are having. Being mothers try to understand that as well. So children are also not very expressive right now towards their parents. Parents need to move on for that. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Amazing. This is it. Like, um, I totally agree with uh, um, Maha. 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 Like what you said, that ch uh, children here are not very uh, expressive, even people generally. So, you know, our child learns what he lives with. The yeah. way you have brought up your children, if yeah. you have hugged her, and yes. of course, mother is always there. But that, you know, sh uh, showing you affection. You see, uh, like you, you just gave yeah. your own example that you just can't hug your mother. Yeah. So same is the case, case is my, with my son, you know, when I'm like passing by, I just, you know, try to ruffle his hair and all that. So he really gets embarrassed, you know. Mm -hmm. So that is what was missing when we were bringing them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, that is, um, but whatever you have given her, even if you haven't hugged them, but you were there for them whenever they fell down or when they needed you yeah. all through their ups and downs. So eventually you do get it back. And children, they do feel it, but they don't know how to show it. Exactly. You see? Yeah. So I feel that it, it is our duty as well, that just being a mother that just, does not justify that, oh my God, mm -hmm unconditional love from the other side as well. Yeah. What have we done for our children? Okay, exactly. absolutely. Thank you very much for saying Thank that. Thank you so much. Um, and would you like to say any last words as well? Last words is um, being a mother means you you are examining your own inner self. So examine yourself and your mother and all your relationships and to find the positivities. Forgive people for what they weren't able to give to you mm -hmm. and Acknowledge your children as wonderful beings yeah. and let them be free and do whatever they want to do. Amazing Great, that is. And you. the last words would be, Ba the Ba yes. ladies and gentlemen. Exactly. I think this is something which you need to, you know, just wrap it up and put it in your head as well. So Ba the Ba means that if you're going to be respectful, Allah is going to make Absolutely. sure that you're blessed as well. Exactly. So thank you very much thank with us. Thank you so much for your time. And it's now actually, there's one more interesting thing, Maha. Wait, but I would like to also say something. Yeah, so after ahead. you do, yeah, yeah, can I ahead. say what an interesting thing? No, but after that then. Oh, okay, so you know, I, I just like to say after all this, thank you so much for being and everything that's said that, you know, love, when you give love, you receive love. When you give respect, you receive respect. And today is not that we just celebrate on today. It's about stopping, acknowledging what our mothers have done for us and some of them have done a lot um, you know we may not always agree with them we may not always have been the perfect child but we aren't here to be perfect we're human beings and we're here to appreciate and make the world a better place for the future mothers exactly that's what it is and last but not the least ladies and gentlemen what we have done is that you know obviously we could have gone somewhere supermarket or Centaur Mall or where not to ask people if they wanted to say something to their mothers. Mm. But what we have done is that we have actually gone to our colleagues over here in the MCR, our cameraman, and we spoke to them what they wanted to say uh, to their mothers and they have said quite a lot as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. It's a goodbye from our side. We hope that you have enjoyed the show as well. Yes. Every day is a Mother's Day, every day is a Father's Day. And the every day is a Children's yeah, Day too. The only Everyone's thing, Day. Yeah, the <laughs> only thing we need to do is we need to stay a result. That's what it is. Look after yourself. Do not forget to write to us on our Facebook fan page. Well, this morning. On Twitter. Well, this morning with Adagi. On Daily Motion and YouTube. Well, this morning. Well, this morning. And we are not sure about the repeat, but we are obviously going to give it away on the Facebook uh, fan page. Well, so this morning. So good afternoon, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Look after yourself. Well, I truly believe in love at first sight because the day I opened my eyes, I fell in love with my mother. Now, a mother is the best gift that life can offer to anyone and she is one that nourishes you, creates you and makes you what you are in this world. All your goals and all your achievements are all because of your mother and I certainly am one who is proud to say that my mother is the woman behind my success. Happy Mother's Day to all of those mothers out there and Happy Mother's Day to my mother as well. Hey Ma, I love you. You are my support system, you owe my life. It's not enough to express my love on a single day because every day is a Mother's Day. So I love you and I love you so much. Happy Mother's Day. Mothers are not only responsible for bringing us into this world, they are also responsible for giving us sustenance and letting us grow to our true potential. This particular Mother's Day is a dedication to all those mothers who bring us up into this world and help us reach our true potential. Happy Mother's Day. Mother, it's a word which sums up all the loves, emotions and sentiments. It's a sacred relationship which every human being can ever experience. Mother is love, comfort, serenity and coziness. We thank you, all the amazing mothers out there, for being us the source of inspiration. We thank you, all their hard work, to make us a better human being. Happy Mother's Day to all the wonderful mothers out there.
On this occasion, I would say something very traditional, but uh, it is uh, a reality of life that uh, mother is the biggest blessing of Allah on a person. And a person who has his mother uh, alive, uh, I think he is the most uh, uh, fortunate person on this earth. And he should be uh, grateful to Allah and respect his mom. Happy Mother's Day, Ammi. Words are not enough to express how much I love you. But yes, whatever you have done for us, whatever sacrifices you made for us, whatever little I am today is because of you. So not only from me, from all three of us, Happy Mother's Day. प्यारी माँ मैं आपका बहुत शुक्रिया अदा करता हूँ उस तमाम मोहब्बत के लिए जो आपने मुझे दी आपकी इस मोहब्बत और काफ़ों के बदले में आज मैं एक अच्छे मुकाम पर खड़ा हूँ माँ आप मेरी हर खुशी हो माँ मेरी जन्नत है मैं अपनी माँ से बहुत मोहब्बत करता हूँ आई लव यू माम हैप्पी मदर्स डे नो वन कैन एवर रिप्लेस योर लव माई डियर मदर आई लव यू सो मच यू आर फॉर मी माई होल वर्ल्ड Mother's Day is an occasion to reflect on the integral role that women play in raising their children and contributing towards society. Love you ma and a shout out to all the mothers around. Assalamu alaikum mama mama hum aap se bahut zyada dur hai hum aapke liye yahan pe prizes gifts lene aaye hain hum aapko bahut zyada miss karte hain aur aapke ilawa aapko bahut bahut happy mothers day wish karte hain aur jitne bhi log mujhe dekh rahe hain un sab ke liye message hai please apni mothers ki care kiya kare unka khayal kiya kare kyunki hum hi jante hain ki mother se dur rehna kitna mushkil hai mother love is a universal love it's a beauty of life indeed a whole universe so i wish each and every one on this planet earth a very happy mothers day keep your mothers happy all the time thank you meri dua hai ki allah taala meri mother ko bahut lambi zindagi de aur hum pe unka saaya barqarar rahe happy mothers day mama assalam alaikum aur hum yahan pe aapke liye gifts lene aaye hain cards lene aaye hain main aapko bahut zyada miss kar rahi hu aur hum hostel light aapko pata hai hum hostel mein aur jo hai na mama se dur rehna bahut mushkil hai to sabke liye yahi message hai कि जो है ना अपनी मदर्स मदर्स को अच्छे से विश करे दिल से विश करे और अपने पेरेंट्स की इज्जत करें यू डू नॉट नीड एनी स्पेसिफिक डे टू ऑनर मदर्स एवरी डे ऑफ द ईयर इज मदर्स डे थैंक यू एवरीथिंग दैट यू हैव डन फॉर मी आई लव यू मॉम हैप्पी मदर्स डे